Alright, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation x to the power of 2 minus x to the power of 3 is equal to 80. So, to solve this equation, I'm going to first start by subtracting 80 on both sides. So now I get x to the power of 2 minus x to the power of 3 minus 80 is equal to 0. Now from here, I'm going to replace 80 negative 80, I should say, with negative 16 minus 64. Now, I'm going to rewrite this as, I'm going to first rewrite negative 16 as negative 4 squared, and negative 64 as negative 4 to the power of 3. And I'm going to group x squared with negative 4 squared, and x to the power of 3 with negative 4 to the power of 3. So now there's two properties that I'm going to use. And before that, I'm going to write this as x squared minus 4 squared. And I'm going to group this minus x to the power of 3 plus 4 to the power of 3. We put this plus because this negative sign distributes. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. And if I have something in the form a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3, which is this, this is equal to a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. So for x squared minus 4 squared, it's going to turn into x plus 4 times x minus 4. I have this minus a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3, or in this case, x to the power of 3 plus 4 to the power of 3 is going to turn into x plus 4 times x squared minus 4x plus 16. Now, because both of these terms have x plus 4 in them, I can factor out x plus 4. So I get x plus 4 times x minus 4 minus x squared minus 4x plus 16 is equal to zero. Now from here, this is equal to x plus four times x minus four minus x squared plus four x minus 16. I just distribute the negative sign is equal to zero. And let's simplify this even more. Okay, x plus four times negative x squared plus 5x minus 20 is equal to 0. So I get two equations from this. I get x plus 4 equals 0, and negative x squared plus 5x minus 20 is equal to 0. So first, for x plus 4 equals 0, all we have to do is subtract 4 on both sides, and we get x is equal to negative 4. Now, for negative x squared plus 5x minus 20 equals 0, well, first off, we have a negative sign in front of x squared, so I'm actually going to get rid of that by multiplying both sides by negative 1. So I get x squared minus 5x plus 20 is equal to 0. And now, to solve this, I'm going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 5, and c is 20. So I get x is equal to negative of negative 5 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is negative 5 squared, which is 25, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 20, all over 2a, so 2 times 1. And this is equal to 5 plus or minus the square root of 25 minus 80 over 2, which is equal to 5 plus or minus the square root of negative 55 over 2. Now, this is equal to the square root of 55 times the square root of negative 1 over 2. And the square root of negative 1 is equal to the imaginary number i. So I get 5 plus or minus the square root of 55i over 2. So this is two more solutions to this equation. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and share this to any of your friends and family.
All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the problem 10 to the power of 20 over 20 to the power of 10. So I wanna find the value of this. So for my solution, what I'm first gonna do is rewrite this as 10 to the power of 10 to the power of 20 equals over 20 to the power of 10. And I'm gonna rewrite this as 10 to the power of 10 plus 10 over 20 to the power of 10. So I rewrote 20, my exponent here, as 10 plus 10. Now, the reason I did that is so I can use the property a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So this is an important property of exponents. And I'm going to use this on 10 to the power of 10 plus 10. So now 10 to the power of 10 plus 10, that's going to turn into, we can think of both 10, but 10 as both m and n. So this turns into 10 to the power of 10 times 10 to the power of 10 all over 20 to the power of 10. Now, this can be written as 10 to the power of 10 times 10 to the power of 10 over 20 to the power of 10. All I did was I just grouped 10 to the power of 10 over 20 to the power of 10 because this way I can use the property a to the power of m over b to the power of m is equal to a over b to the power of m. So in this case, this turns into 10 to the power of 10 times 10 over 20 to the power of 10, which is equal to 10 to the power of 10 times 1 half to the power of 10. And finally, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times b to the power of m, this is equal to a times b to the power of m. So this is going to turn into 10 times 1 half to the power of 10, which is equal to 5 to the power of 10. So if you liked the video, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and also share this with any friends or family. Thank you.